Look who's back. Julia Avila going to be back in action. Big fight here. Misha Tate doesn't get much better than this. December 2nd. Julia, how's it going? It's going great. I'm uh, living the dream. Yes. Uh, were you surprised to, to get Misha as an opponent in your return fight? Because, uh, you know, a lot of women want to fight her. She's a former champion, really big name. Uh, did this catch you off guard at all? Or were you like, hey, you know what? This is, uh, you know, long overdue me getting a big opportunity like this. You know what? I'm really excited to get the opportunity. Um, it is, I, I do kind of feel like it's a little bit long overdue. Um, but you know what? I'm, I'm excited. I'm glad that she took it. And um, I, I have always said that I just needed the opportunity to showcase my capability. And I think this is a really, really good testament, especially her being the former champion, you know, so. Yeah, no, it's, it's a huge fight and we're really looking forward to it. Um, it looked like you got plenty of notice for this fight. When did you actually find out? Um, I believe it was 10 weeks out, something like that. Oh, wow. Okay, nice. So yeah. plenty of time to, to get ready, which is, uh, which is awesome. Um, so we got to mention, uh, you know, obviously off the top, you're, you're a mom now. Uh, I know that's why we have not seen you in the cage. Um, you know, we'll start first just with the fact, like, was this the right amount of time off? I know we've seen sometimes I know the fighter in you wants to get back in there right away, but, um, you know, you want to make sure you're, you're coming back in an adequate time. So was this the right time frame, or did you possibly want to get back in there sooner? So, I mean, there's there's a whole backstory to it. So okay, pregnancy, let's hear it. pregnancy is actually secondary. Um, mm. I got injured. I blew out my knee. Um, I had an ACL meniscus tear uh, 20, December 2021, right before my Raquel Pennington fight. So um, a month later, I was like, hey, I know I'm going to be out for a year. So I asked my husband, like, do you want to try to have a kid? And he's like, yeah, sure. So um, a month later, I was pregnant. It all worked out. Um, so 2022 was out, obviously, and I was rehabbing my knee. And then uh, t when 2023 came around, I really wanted to fight first quarter of 2023, right? I was ready to go. I was ready to go. But my body said no. My daughter said no. <laughs> so uh, I was like, okay, second quarter, second quarter. I'm going to do this. I got this. And um, I was still, my body was still getting back together. I didn't bounce back like bounce back like mm -hmm. a lot of uh, fighters you know that are blessed to to be able to do that uh, I was over 200 pounds um, and I'm coming off of that and my body just didn't want to get rid of the weight I was still nursing um, I was working but you know there was still limitations um, my knee wasn't the best uh, after surgery and after pregnancy so you know we were easing back into it easing back into it and so I was like, third quarter, third quarter, 2023. That's my time to shine. So I went to the PI, got tested and this and that. And I was pretty heavy. <laughs> and mm -hmm. They're like, hmm, how about fourth quarter, 2023? And I was like, you know what? All right, that's fine. So, um, I mean, I'd like to say that I have a plan and I wanted to follow through with it, but my body and God thought, otherwise and i'm just listening and i didn't push it too hard um but yeah everything's coming according to plan everything's coming to fruition um she's healthy i'm healthy everybody's healthy so it's it's great you know i wish i could have fought sooner but i'm i'm gonna take it i, I i'm i just i'm happy to fight i'm just happy to punch someone in the face <laughs> absolutely no no that's great and, and i'm sure there's a lot of pressure on yourself to you know i got to get back in there do i still have this like you know what i mean like there's all these things that are sort of weighing in let me ask you this throughout this entire process was there ever a point where you thought maybe this is it maybe i'm just going to go and be a mom or did you always know you were going to come back with all the challenges you experienced along the way i never had any doubt i knew awesome. i was going to come okay. back i yeah. and i knew i was going to be better than ever because mom strength is a real thing Oh yeah. So I never had any doubt, never in my training did I think like, oh, these kids are, you know, they're coming up and, you know, they're so much better than me. I've been watching all of the UFC fights that I can religiously. And I'm like, I can beat her. I can beat him. I can do this. I can do that. <laughs> so um, it's, I've never lost faith in my abilities and I've never lost faith in my routine. So um I was just waiting for my body to catch up with my brain. <laughs> right. Okay. Well, that's, that's great. And self-belief is obviously a great thing. I'm sure helps you get through, but I'm sure you had a great support system. I'm assuming your husband, uh, like who helped you through this? Cause I know it's, you know, it takes a lot of people to kind of lift you up when you're having those tough days. 
Oh my gosh. Uh, literally it takes a village, right? Uh, yeah. So my team is amazing. Um, I walk into the gym and the parents are all ready and willing to take my daughter. So she is taken care of and I can go work out. Um, all of Oklahoma is coming together. I go to different gyms and everybody, every black belt is willing to help me and give me feedback. And it's just, it really like, I've gotten so much support from so many different avenues of my life, even at work. Um, my my team, the team that I work with, uh, they're all going to go down for a team building event and watch the fight in Austin. Awesome. So, okay. Yeah. It's um, I'm really getting a lot of support just all over the map. And it's uh, it's very humbling and that's rewarding. And it it reinstills like everything that I'm working for and working towards. Fantastic. That's awesome. And actually, now that you just reminded me, I believe the last time we talked, you were out of work. And so now I guess you got another job. So what are you in the same field? What, what are you what are you doing? I don't know how much you can talk about it, but. Oh, no, no, definitely. Yeah. Um, so yeah. uh, when I was pregnant, I was like, OK, well, I'm not fighting. I'm not training. Uh, got to get a job. So I worked for the state for a little bit. And then um, I transitioned back into the oil and gas industry. That's right. So, OK, nice. Yeah. So now I'm working as a data analyst. Fantastic. Okay. Well, that's good. And that, you know, takes some pressure off as well financially, I'm sure too, just cause you know, you don't, some fighters like that's all they have is fighting. Right. So at least you have this other sorts of income. And I mean, you pretty much had to, right. Cause when you're not fighting, you're not paying the bills. Right. So it's kind of, kind of yeah. tough to do that. And I, I needed the insurance so I can have a kid and you know, not that too. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. And it's crazy. I, I just got to mention this too. Like I live in Canada. So in Canada for mat leave, you get like, a, like wherever, even if you don't have the full benefits, you still get a year off and you get half your paycheck, oh which is nuts. God. Cause I know, in the, I know in the States, it's not like that. You get no. a couple of weeks, don't you? It is absolutely not like that. No, I actually lucked out. Um, so the, the new company, the company that I work for, they uh, gave me paid maternity leave. I didn't have to have a minimum requirement to work there. So uh, that really, really helped out a lot. Like, I don't know who, I, I just got to thank, you know, everybody. It all, it all works out. Yeah, yeah. for sure. Um, let's talk about Misha Tate. Like I mentioned, former champion, 19 and nine stylistically, obviously she's got some great wrestling. She's good everywhere. Uh, how, how do you feel like you match up against her? I'm really excited. Um, she obviously has a lot more experience than I do. She literally has as many losses as I have wins. So She's got, um, she's got the experience. She's gone the distance, but you know, so have I. And um, my lack of experience in the cage, I don't think it's it's gonna it's gonna be a factor. Um, I don't think my time away is gonna be a factor. Uh, I train really hard and I train often, um, and people don't let up on me. And so I think. I think it's going to be a, a really good fight stylistically. She's a little bit opposite of uh, what I'm known for. Um, I know my loss against Sarge, uh, Sarge just pretty much took me down at will. So it, a lot of people are looking at it and they see my wrestling as a, as uh, something that's lacking, but they also don't know what I've been doing these past couple of years. So um, I think it's a really, really great matchup. She's spectacular. I mean, like I grew up watching her and being like, oh my God, she's great. You know? Um, and I say grew up, she's only, you know, two years older than me. <laughs> like, right. Yeah. I, I grew up in the sport, um, watching her and being in awe. And, uh, it's kind of cool to be able to fight your, your, your hero, so to speak. No. Yeah. I know, I know what you mean. Someone that yeah. you looked up to, but not necessarily. Yeah, yeah I know what you mean. Um, yeah. So you, you mentioned you mentioned sort of, uh, you know, obviously doing a bunch of different training and stuff. Is there anyone you're working with a little bit more than others as far as training partners? Who, who are you mainly working with? So I have um, a lot of my same coaches, a lot of people that are working with me. Um, I recently acquired a new coach um, who was more of my, I mean, my, my coaches are all my training partners, right? Where pretty much interchangeable um, when it comes to cornering, but he actually has more of a wrestling background. And um, so he has a good eye to that and uh, has been work working with me a lot. Um, again, out going outside of my, my gym, I've gone across and cross-trained with a couple 
different gyms in Oklahoma City. So I've been working with um, some former UFC fighters. So it's a uh, it's been a good spread, and I'm getting a lot of really good looks. Good. That's great. And uh, you mentioned the weight. I imagine everything's on track. Uh, we, we still got a bit of time here, obviously, uh, yeah, before the, the second race. So, yeah. Um, so the uh, weight's coming off. I'm feeling really good. It actually, uh, I was really surprised. Um, so a lot of women have uh, bragged <laughs> about uh, being not being able to keep on weight when they were nursing. And uh, that was not my experience. Like my, okay. I, I could not get rid of the weight for the life of me. And as soon as I stopped nursing, I melted, literally melted. And um, I'm actually like really, really lean right now at being five weeks out or under five weeks. Yeah. Um, I, I mean, I could, I could cut this week if I needed to, but uh, awesome. I feel, yeah, I feel really good. I feel strong strong as hell so um yeah it's it's been a journey uh this time last year i was almost 100 pounds heavier <laughs> so, <laughs> crazy it's like a whole other human you know yeah yeah literally <laughs> so um you know a lot of my teammates they haven't seen me in fight camp um they haven't seen how little i get uh so a lot of them are shocked um I, oh this is a funny one I remember when I first announced to my team, you know, I have a fight December 2nd, you know, it's really exciting. And everyone cheered, woo, woo, mm. except for my corner and except for the people that have trained with me before, because they're like, you don't know Fight Camp Julia. Fight Camp Julia is an asshole. <laughs> <laughs> right. Okay. Fair enough. I like the honesty, though. Yeah. <laughs> And so now whenever we like say the reminders, you know, in announcements in class, they're like, yay, great. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Okay. Well, we're looking forward to it. Um, how's the fight playing out? How do you envision the fight going down on December 2nd? Gosh. I, I mean, right. I have my plans. Everybody mm -hmm. has a plan until they get hit. But um, I have my, my daydreams, really, of, um, of just finding that finish, finding that finish and really showing the world what I'm capable of doing. And then after I win, all I want to do is hold my baby up in the center of the cage so, like, the entire state of Texas can cheer for her. <laughs> That's awesome. You got it all mapped out. That's visualization is such a big part of the sport, right? So that's cool. You've already kind of mapped all that out. So, I mean, you know, I'll kind of state the obvious here and not look past the second here, but I mean, you get this win, you're, you're in that contender spot. Like a win over Misha Tate has done wonders for a lot of fighters. Um, I'm sure you've thought of that and like the opportunity you have here. So is that kind of what you're thinking that like, Hey, we, we got to start talking about you in the title pitch because it's wide open now with Nunes retiring, right? It is wide open, and I have been thinking about that. I do definitely want to focus on this um, on this fight, but I've also thought that uh, if and when I do get a finish, um, I feel another strong showing would put me in the contender for for a title shot. Mm -hmm. um, now I have to have a good strong finish. If I don't, I think uh, that would look at more like three fight or, or uh, the third fight, third win, whether it, uh, by decision. Um, but I, I need a finish. I need mm -hmm. a finish. Uh, I need to show that I'm I'm the one that they forgot to look at. So. Awesome. Um, at the top of your division, it looks like they're going to do Juliana Pena and I think Raquel Pennington next. Is that kind of your, cause especially with Myra Silva now, unfortunately, uh, she had some ADD medication and they flagged it. So now that went over home, I guess no contest she suspended. Is that kind of what you're thinking? That'll be next. I, you know, Juliana Pena hasn't been very active lately. Um, I, I don't think the top has been very active. Uh, Raquel Pennington, she hasn't been active, but it's not because she, she hasn't wanted to, right. She was the alternate for uh, the most recent fight um title fight but uh Raquel Pennington definitely for sure deserves that shot yeah. um and you know eventually I think I'm gonna see her but I don't I don't know about that secondary obviously it would be Juliana Pena because she's the most recent title holder but um I think that would be a good mashup for the time being until I get there 
Yeah, for sure. Yeah, no, a lot, a lot of moving pieces there. Um, did you happen to see the? I don't know if you got the highlights or anything. Did you see Francis and Ngannou last uh, last weekend with Tyson Fury? Did you see the highlights at all? I saw the highlights. Um, I didn't get the opportunity to watch the fight though, so um, I thought. But that pretty was incredibly wild. dropped Fury though, don't you think that like no one was really giving him a shot, and and here's an MMA fighter coming over and knocking down you know the best heavyweight in the world. Yeah, I think it's really, really wild. Um, I think people tend to overlook MMA fighters because we're not um, we're not specialists anymore, right? We're true mm -hmm. mixed martial artists, and so the the crossover people are just kind of frivolous. They, they think mm -hmm. we're we're frivolous. We're just throwaway fighters or like money fighters, which I mean, for a lot of people, it can be. But um, I mean, Francis and Ganu really showed them. You know, we we can do this. We can be, you know, boxers. <laughs> Absolutely. No, no, it's it's interesting. And then uh, just another performance that we had a couple of weeks ago. I don't know if you saw Islam Mahashev knock out Alex Volkanovsky. Everyone's been talking about it. Uh, did you see that? The highlight? What did you think of that whole thing? I was shook. I was shook. Uh, definitely didn't think it was going to be a knockout. Um, but, I mean... Hats off to both of them. They were great and they were good sports about it. Um, I I really thought Wolk had it, but I mean, every again, everybody has a plan until they go in. Um, you know, not every day can't be your best day. So it's just yeah. a bad day at the office. Last question for me. Um, USADA is going away. I know they're using a different uh, drug testing program. What was your overall experience with USADA? And were you surprised to see the UFC part ways with them, I think, after eight years? Oh, I loved USADA. I uh, had a really good working relationship with them. I never had anything to hide, so it's not that big of a deal. Um, it was kind of frustrating sometimes because I would uh, have to skip out on class. But, I mean, that's that's not on them. Like, this is part of my job as an athlete is to, uh, you know, comply. And, um, I'm nervous, um, because I, I don't know what the future holds. I really hope that, um, I know that the UFC wants to protect their fighters. Um, but I, you know, I, uh, I'm just concerned for for fighters like myself that are natural fighters that don't have anything to hide that don't worry about stuff like this. Um, I as long as I'm safe, I'm okay. You know, whatever. Right. Uh, but if you see a lot of these 25ers coming up to 35, I'm gonna be very nervous. Yeah, <laughs> the no, no, understandable. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it'll be it'll be interesting to see how things are uh, January onwards. Uh, Julia, thank you so much for doing this. It's great to see you back. If there's anyone you'd like to thank before we get out of here, sponsor, social media, whatever, you name it, the floor yes. is yours. I would love to give a shout out to my sponsors, uh, Godima, um, Evergreen, Parker Brothers, Combat Bunny, Flow State, OKC Combat, Real Bravo Jiu Jitsu, OK, Oklahoma Title, Inverted Gear, Starting Strength, and The Strength Company for supporting me and helping me throughout this camp and always. Um, I also want to give a shout out. Um, my movie, The Squad, is going to be coming out and it's going to be premiering December 1st on uh, Amazon Prime. So if you guys want to check it out and see me do a little acting, um, I'll be on that. I also got some pretty badass fight scenes but you can like follow and subscribe on all social media platforms with uh at raging panda mma